What's up, Prop Bob? Eduardo Talbert here. This is Oscar Tutorials. So I've been working on a really cool project that I'm going to tell you about today. This is not the video for it. There'll be a video for it, but I'm going to tell you what the whole background uh, of this video today. So this guy right here. It was my first and only latex mask that I've made entirely by myself and that I learned to do at Monster Camp, right? And uh, that was about a year ago. And uh, as I was walking to the garage, I saw it there and I said, I want to revisit the mask and repaint it and redo it. Just refinish it and mount it so that it's like a head, right? So I can put it for display. So I want to repaint it, I want to put some teeth maybe, some eyes, some hair, so a few cool things. And one of the things is eyes, it needed eyes. So I have these guys here. Right? If you remember, I did a full tutorial on how to make the eyes. It's one of like a super long tutorial, like 46 minutes, so it's pretty detailed. So I was gonna take one of these eyes to put in the mask, right? But then I said, there's most of tutorials that we can make whatever we want, right? We like to make stuff, be creative, explore. So why would we give this guy human eyes when he's a monster, or an alien, or an orc, or something like that? So in my pockets of free time, because I'm working from home right now due to the virus, so if I had a pocket of like 20 minutes, 15 minutes, I started making eye prototypes. So I made a few. Like this one has uh, three pupils, uh, and then I hand painted the iris. And I like the concept, it's pretty cool looking, but I don't like that the pupils that were supposed to be perfectly round were not. So that was a pretty cool one. I put this one on Instagram, people liked it. And I've been testing different ones. One of the latest ones is this guy. And uh, if you'll notice, if you'll notice it's just like a half. And what happens for the prototypes is I take the the old uh, I have these molds for the eyes uh, but let's say I had some uh, resin left over and when I have a resin left over I just pour it in here and I end up with this little half circles or half spheres of resin right like that so on those I started like uh, carving the irises so I use those to practice making some, you know, eye prototypes. This one. This one used to have some uh, veins made out of liquid latex and that didn't work out. So that was a failure. So I took the veins off and I'm going to repaint this one. Uh, on this one in particular, uh, I took the little blank. Looks just like this. These are slippery. Right, and then I sanded the top off. And I took my Dremel and I cut the pupil, just like a vertical pupil. So I cut the pupil all the way through, then I filled it up with uh, black nail polish. And then the iris is hand painted. I just grabbed like a tiny, tiny little brush. Yeah, tiny brush, that is for like nail art, I think. And uh, hand painted the iris. So I painted the background of the iris blue. And then I made some striations in like, uh, brown and uh, a little bit of white and yellow, right? And then uh, I put some dots in red, with red nail polish. And then I took the whole thing and put it in the mold with some clear resin, right? So, so the blank was made out of just plain white resin. I used this Alumilite stuff, which has worked pretty well for me. That one's white. And then uh, the clear, I do this clear which I talked to Alumilite and apparently they have a better one that they are sending me a sample of, which, uh, which I can't wait to try. So then I did the clear. Where did the eye go? Okay, so then I did the clear and then when I took it out, I polished it. So it's nice and shiny. And uh, this one, I really like how it turned out. Again, that's just a prototype. So uh, that's a good option. Got this one I showed you, right? The one with the three pupils, it's another option. I'm uh, working on a few more, so 
and then this one I thought was really cool so this was like a full sphere right like a white sphere not clear white like that and uh, I took like a paddle bit quarter inch paddle bit and I drilled straight in so it made like a huge iris and on top of that iris in the middle I drilled another hole inside of that hole I put a grommet so the grommet like this it's like a brass one right I'll show you a close-up uh, it dropped right into the eye right inside and then on the top on the very top I put one of these washers that look like uh, like spiky things right right on top uh, and the other thing I did is I painted the inside of the iris uh, with red nail polish I also went ahead and drilled all the way through so that we can do something like this so there's more like a robot eye I was thinking there's like a LED string I'll show you a close-up of this but if you I right, check this out I'll show you a close-up but uh, it looks awesome it looks like a robot so now if we make like a robot mask or a robot bust we have a prototype of an eye that looks pretty electronic I thought this was pretty cool so that's what I've been working on so I want to show you these guys okay up close and uh, I want you to let me know in the comments below which one is your favorite and also uh, which one do you think should go on this guy right here when we redo this whole mask and what I'll do is then I'm going to do a full tutorial of whatever that eye was actually some of these I really like so I'll probably do tutorials on all the ones that I like like definitely going to do a robot tutorial definitely like a multi-pupil one this one hand painted I thought it was cool maybe we can do that too but let me know below okay and uh that's me checking in uh I've been in lockdown like everybody else working from home with very little time uh but I thought I would stop by say hi let you know what I'm working on okay all right I'm Eduardo Talbert this is Monster Tutorials you me all of us we are the prop mob so if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you find some value entertainment or inspiration uh, with these videos consider subscribing and I'll see you on the next time see ya